Well, that break came at a good time because I was able to find my phone. So written communication, if someone sends me a text, says, good morning, how are you? I can read that and then I can respond. I'm doing good, thank you, how are you doing? All right, that's a form of communication, right? You can't see me, but we're still communicating, we're still having a conversation. And the last one is a use of interpreter. This was a sign language or, or a language translator. So sign language. So maybe I don't understand the same language as you or I can't hear, but if I use sign language, right? And in, in sign language, this is thank you. So I can still speak to somebody, or if I know English and the other person knows Khmer, I can have a translator who knows both languages. They know English and Khmer. So the Khmer person can speak in Khmer, and then the translator can translate it to English. So I can have a conversation with somebody else, even if they don't understand the same language as me, of same language as me. That's what a use of interpreter is. So. As you can see, this should this should all be review. You all should know this already. If you don't know this, make sure you uh, remember this because this is very important. Um, also, some other words I want to talk about are words like tone. Tone is how I say something. So my tone can be, I can have a happy tone and yay, everything is great. Or my tone can be, can be more negative, can be more bad, it can be, oh, I'm so frustrated, I'm so annoyed. Right? That's an, that's an angry tone, I'm, I'm upset. So we have tone, we have something else called rate of speech. So rate of speech is how fast or how slow I say something. So if I'm talking really fast and I'm really excited and yay, online learning is the best, da 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 da. That's, I'm talking really fast. But if I talk slow, hello. My name is Teacher Josh. What is your name? That's talking really slow. So that's our rate of speech. How fast or slow. Uh, and this should also be with you as well too. So tone and rate of speech is what I wanted to cover. Uh, just some uh, more of you to make sure that you guys fully understand the different types of communication. So that being said, for homework, I want you to write down in a piece of paper or your notebook all the different ways you communicate throughout the day with different people. And I want you to write down how much time you spend a day doing it. So maybe uh, tomorrow, every time you um, talk to somebody, or in my example here, I have talking to teacher Cheryl. I spent two hours a day and it was verbal communication. Or texting with my friends one hour a day and that was written. So throughout the day, think about all the times you write, oh, sorry, all the times you communicate with people and at the end of the day, think how long you spent doing that, all right? Other examples can be uh, social media, maybe use nonverbal communication, right? Maybe your mom or dad told you to do something and you just kind of shrugged or you nodded your head or you gave a thumbs up. Uh, that's all different nonverbal. So give it your best shot. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And the secret word of the day is mustache mustache. So make sure you send me that secret word in Facebook Messenger so you get credit for watching this video. All right, if you have any questions, please reach out to me on Facebook Messenger, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, guys.